Hi, I'm James. Hi everyone, I'm Laura. Hi, I'm Toby. Hi, I'm Eleanor. I'm the cellist in Samadhi. Uh, I have been playing the cello for quite a few years now, probably 13, 14 years. I started in primary school anyway, so it's been a long while. Um, on cello we've got Eleanor. Eleanor is our cellist in the band and she's extremely talented. Um, me and Elle actually live together for the entirety of our undergraduate degree, um, so she is one of my closest friends. I've worked in orchestras and in chamber ensembles with Eleanor. I think the main story that kind of like sticks in my head um, about our time in Avery and Hall um, <laughs> was, so me and Elle lived together um, and we both had quite small cars. Obviously I played the double bass, a large instrument, and Eleanor plays a cello um, and a large instrument again. And uh, I just kind of remember us driving to this gig that Samadhi were doing uh, one time. Uh, double bass in the back, cello in the back, me driving, L with me. I was all shoved into a little Toyota, uh, whipping down the dual carriageway on our way. Um, and it just really makes me giggle. Like I think like if we pulled up to a traffic light and people looked into the car, they must be thinking what's going on in there, like double bass sticking up um, and all sorts. But that's what it's all about, isn't it? Just just the, the buzz of on your way to a gig being crammed into little cars. Um, but yeah, I think that's the main thing that sticks with me about my time at, at undergraduate. Me, Laura, who will move on to, and James were all in the same year at uni. So for me, I think Eleanor and Laura always seem to come as a pair. I think that's because when I first met them, they were always together. They, they'd never separated. Um, Laura's our double bassist. I started playing the double bass in the first year of my undergraduate degree. Um, and I basically just haven't put it down since. Absolutely fell in love with it. Um, my principal study was actually vocals when I started university. So you might actually hear some vocals from me from time to time in the future. What I like about Laura is the fact that she will tell me when she thinks something should be done differently and I, I appreciate that because sometimes when, when we're making decisions we need someone to be that decision maker and, and Laura steps up to that mark quite nicely I think, um, it's, 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 yeah it's always good. So James is our woodwind player. On clarinet and all the woodwind possible we've got James. Um, and you will have heard um, clarinet, sax, flute from him in some of the tracks that we've released. Um, me and James do a lot of work together compositionally. He's played a lot of my works and I play a lot of his. So we've got a really good working relationship. James tends to lead with improvisation in the pieces um, and James tends to write the pieces. Um, he kind of gives us a bit of a form to follow and then we'll follow it through. So I play clarinet, sax, flute, loads of woodwind instruments and I've been playing them about 10, 10, 12, 13 years, something like that. It's been too long for me to keep track now. And then finally Toby, who's our guitarist, is two years younger than us. Again, we met at uni. He's actually the baby of the group. I'm the youngest in the band by a couple of years. Um, so it was quite nice to be playing with musicians who had been at the uni for a couple of years and knew what they were doing. And, and yeah, so that was good. Toby. Uh, it's kind of funny, we met when I was running a stall for the Big Band Society at the University of Hull and he came up to me and, and we were chatting and he was interested in the society and I said, to, and he was telling me about um, his work with Doncaster Youth Jazz Orchestra and I was like, wait, I'm sure I played with him once and, and we, ever since then we seem to have just been friends which has been really nice and we've, we've done so much together. I met James and Dan at the Society's Fair where they were advertising big band. And from there, James got me involved with his projects and I haven't been able to get out of it since, really. A funny little story about Toby. Uh, when we were recording Return to Venus, um, there, was, uh, there was lots of parts where it's just a solo sax. Um, and Toby had turned off his guitar amp um, and just started playing Sweet Home Alabama in the middle of the recording session. Of course, it got picked up by the DI in the recording studio. When we came back to listen, I was like, what the hell is that? Toby had been playing Sweet Home Alabama while I'd been doing this aggressive free jazz sound. Um, couldn't, couldn't forget that. So we all together make some edit and then alongside our producer, Dan, who's also was in mine, Laura and James's year at uni. Five was in the band, including Dan, who's our tech and sound guy. Dan, um, I, I've lived with now for two years. It's not really two years, is it? Because we've been in lockdown and I've not been living with him, but I, 
I've definitely got to know him over those two years and I think we're coming out the end of it best mates and, and really good musical colleagues. I think the beauty of Samadhi is that you could listen to it and you could delve into the, the textures, um, you know, the improvisatory elements, the modes, the, the technique, but also you could listen to it and just not think anything at all. I think it really creates that space of um, meditation. I would say that Samadhi is a nice mix of jazz and folk while still keeping it being predominantly based around improvisation. Music to listen to, to clear your mind. Our pieces tend to be very free. Somebody started out as a project, an improvisatory project for me, and it's, it's quickly come on to form this whole soundscape that I think we all really enjoy. Um, I think we're all influenced by nature in, in the creative world. Um, but somebody even more so, we like this idea of communication through music. Bouncing off each other, communicating and creating a piece on the spot almost. So Samadhi started because of me, um, I'm going to take full credit for this one. Um, so Samadhi really started um, in our undergraduate degree. Um, when me, James, Eleanor and Dan were in our final year, um, James had some uh, important performances that he, he'd written some compositions for. Um, it was actually for a university module um, and I'd, I'd run out of ideas. I'd got these compositions from him through Cross and Soul, my first EP, and I, I wanted to spice them up a bit. And I thought, you know, I can get a guitar instead of a piano. So Toby came in. I'd only just met him at this point as well, which was always fun. And I thought, wait, some strings. That could sound really cool. And I was like, Laura Eleanor, do you want to give it a go? And like, yeah, sure. And we, we had some great days, some stressful days, working up to those um, assessed performances. Um, but it was really, really good. I do remember the, the first workshop that we ever did. Um, and I remember us all playing, you know, improvising. We kind of got to the end of of, a, of the section we were doing. I remember kind of looking around, being like, this is really, you know, something that could be great. And it was a really nice feeling and I remember us all equally feeling so excited about the potential of this group. So we went from there really and carried on with the idea and and especially through lockdown we went obviously went predominantly online and we're doing a lot of virtual recordings and kept that kept us busy and releasing quite regularly, yeah, you know, like mostly weekly. And um, they really pushed what we knew and what we were used to. I mean, we were all very much used to performing live, um, but this was a new way of kind of approaching performances and you can reach such a wider audience through live streams. So it was a really interesting approach to take, but we enjoyed it. We have loads of plans in the future. We've got some very exciting things that are gonna be announced very, very shortly. Um, and, and we just look forward to making new music, new albums, getting in that studio, finally, that we've been waiting a year for now. Um, yeah, we hope to see you and we hope you come along with us on this journey. We're really enjoying what we're doing. We're moving in various new directions and we've got lots of new ideas. We'd love to do more workshops with younger people and obviously gigging as well. We'd, we'd love to do some more festivals and jazz festivals and any any gigs we can sort of do really and that would suit the band. There is definitely big things on the cards uh, that we're working hard towards um, and a lot of exciting news that will definitely be coming out soon so keep an eye out.